Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and to a brand new paint with me video and in this video I'll be doing another oil painting and this time I'm painting Arielle Free. She's basically a radio presenter and also she hosts the Love Island podcast and if you guys know me you will know that I love the TV show Love Island. It's a show that you either love or you hate. I personally think it's really fun to watch. Usually around this time of year they start filming the summer series but obviously due to the current pandemic they're not filming it this year. Instead they're showing the Love Island Australia which I will get into a little bit later on in this video. It's only been the first episode so far and I have a few views on it so I'll get into that later on in this video. So because I really love the show I listened to the podcast which is how I heard about Ariel Free. I really really love the podcast it's like it's, it's just so good to listen to in the morning when you're having your breakfast. Obviously I work from home so it's not something I listen to in the car or anything so um yeah it's just it's just usually me listening to it when I have my breakfast. It's a really enjoyable podcast and Ariel has like a really really lovely personality she's just so bubbly and a lot of the things she says is really funny as well. So because I follow her on Instagram Instagram, I had a look through a few of her pictures and there was this one picture in particular that I thought was like really really lovely. I really wanted to paint it in an oil painting. It was mostly how it was taken and also the colours that were in it because it seemed like it was taken in like a low light setting and the colours in the picture were quite um they were quite reddish, that's all that I can really say, it was quite reddish, quite um, contrasted and a little bit saturated, like there were some really nice bold colours and I thought this is a really nice picture, let me go ahead and paint it, so that's what I'm doing in this video. By the way, I know it starts off with me painting the whites on her eyes, I actually filmed me painting like the iris on my DSLR but for some reason I can't find that footage so I'm really sorry about that. Everything that I've used in this video, all the materials and stuff, I'll leave it in the description so you guys can have a look. It's literally the same as my previous video, my previous oil painting except it's just the paper that's different but still I'll leave it in the description. So for this painting I started off with the eyes, it's like my favourite thing to do. I always start off with the eyes regardless if it's a painting or a pet portrait, it's just the first thing that I do. And then after the eyes, I just blocked in a lot of the darker colours around the face, including like the nostrils and around the eyes. So then I went straight into painting her skin tones, um, you know, around the eyes, around the nose and around like the cheek area. Just blocking in the colours of what I think is quite um, similar to the original picture and then I could go over it and kind of colour correct if there's any bits. If there's any bits that are a bit more reddish or a bit more brownish I found it a little bit more easier to kind of go over it afterwards rather than getting everything perfect on the first layer. So that's basically what you can see me do just blocking in the colours and trying to get like an overall feel of how the skin tone is and for a lot of the details I'm using this really thin brush. I believe I got this from Amazon it was like a set of a few thin brushes and they're really handy and really helpful for like all the small details so so you'll see me use that brush in a lot of this painting I just found it easier to use a small and thin brush it just gave me a lot more control rather than using a really large brush it probably added a lot of extra time onto this painting but personally I find it really worth it so I'm just continuously just adding in paint and just kind of color correcting certain areas around the eyes and then a little bit around her jawline just to kind of make it a little bit more defined. So back to this Love Island Australia. It was the first episode last night. I am going to watch it tonight as well. I don't know if I'm going to continue watching it though because I do like the idea of watching something like a new series like every day like how the regular Love Island UK is. Um, I believe this one that's currently showing this Australia one it was filmed in 2018. So so it's like the kind of buzz around it has gone so I don't know if I'm gonna find it as enjoyable but I have heard that this series is actually quite um there's a lot of drama in there and it's quite entertaining so maybe I will continue watching. I'm gonna give it a few more episodes see how it's going and obviously if I do like it I'll continue watching but I do have a small feeling that I might not continue watching. So this first episode I actually ended up watching it like 10 minutes in 
I was watching something else and I completely forgot about the time. I watched it like 10 minutes in and like some of the names, I don't know, I can't remember. So my first impressions of this series so far is that it's just unseasoned, like where is the diversity? I saw this on Twitter as well, like a lot of people are saying the same thing, but it is, it's so true, like a lot of the people on there just look so similar. The only differences they have is like their hair colours, like you know like some people have brown hair, some people have blonde hair and whatever, but in terms of actual like diversity, in terms of like ethnicity, there's, there's nothing. I don't know, it's just kind of made it a little bit kind of bland. Because I know the UK series, they try to, you know, bring in a few different people from different backgrounds. That's my main criticism with this Love Island Australia. I don't know what the one from last year, the 2019 one is like. And also the fact that it's a 2018 series a lot of people have watched it so I've seen spoilers and things like that and I think the whole buzz around it is it's just not there Anyway, back to the painting, I'm just filling in all of the skin on her face, her neck, her ears, and also on her hand. And then I moved to the darker areas, so she was wearing like a black jumper, so I went in and filled in her jumper, her sleeve, and then also she had a bit of shadow behind her ear, um, just where her hair was. So I ended up using more of a brownish colour just for those lot of areas. I didn't want to use black because obviously her hair isn't black. So as you can see, I'm switching between a few different brushes. I'm using that really thin brush for sort of details and you know for the fine areas. And then I'm using more of a bigger sort of flat squarish brush. I found that you can cover quite a lot of like a surface area and also because the brush is quite thin you can get certain streaks of different colour in there and I thought that was a nice way to use this brush to its advantage. So when it came to the details like her eyelashes, her eyebrows and then when I go on to filling in her rings and trying to define her jewellery I used a thin brush again for the details.
that's the painting and I hope you guys liked it. I believe this is my third portrait painting that I've done in oils and I was quite happy with how it looked and obviously I hope you guys like this painting as well. If you do like this video hit the like button and also subscribe to my channel for more videos. Thank you for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!